Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Prisons. They have just released the new season, so we're just going to be starting now and just going over some of the basic stuff. We're just going to be trying to rank up a little bit, open some keys, so stay tuned to the very end. So first things I'm going to do is claim some kits we have. So if we go into the slash kits and check out the OP kits, we can claim all of these. And this is basically just going to give us some crates and some starter stuff that we can use. So let's go ahead and open all of these. Hopefully we get some tokens and some basic stuff like that. And I'll come back and show you what I got. It probably won't be anything too, too, too special, but it's definitely going to help us start out. Okay, so we're done opening up the crates. We have 99 trillion tokens, so that's definitely going to help us start off. We got a prestige finder attachment, so let's go ahead and apply that. That's just going to help the prestige finder in Champ Proc. So we could get a little bit of that once we do unlock that. We did get a drill pit pet, which gives us a boost to tokens. And the ability gives us um, the chance to break an extra layer. So we're going to take that. And we also got a bunch of stuff. We salvaged some stuff, so we're going to eventually be able to buy. If we go ahead and take a look in the salvage shop we're gonna be able to buy one of these mythical armor boxes currently like from all the armor boxes we didn't really get anything uh, only this token leggings which is their only common so they're not that good but since we do have 99 trillion tokens let's go ahead and put some enchants we're gonna focus on the main ones like token miner and token merchant if there if, even is that i think they might have reworked some of the enchants okay there's, to there's token merchant yeah so token miner and token merchant are basically what we're gonna be focused on i think they either got rid of or added some uh, new enchants or something like that because it was different last map but let's go ahead and put some on the token miner we can actually buy eight or we can actually fully max it so we're going to take that and token merchant we have to be pickaxe level 30 so that's going to take a little bit and all the other ones are going to take a little bit so yeah let's go ahead and mine probably get to level five for our pickaxe and it's probably going to enchant some jackhammer because jackhammer is always a good enchant to start off with and yeah so we're just going to continue mining it's basically just going to start overall again from last map but since we are just starting out everything should be leveled up pretty quick we're already at level eight for our pickaxe and once we do get to the level 10 mark we're going to be able to get some more enchants which i'm honestly pretty excited for because Honestly, we're just going to try to basically increase our pickaxe to a pretty high like level and just get some pretty good enchants on it in the start. And once we do get to rank 40, our mine will actually increase in size and it's going to be a lot better. Basically, every 20 levels, your mine actually increases size and just gets a lot better. You make more money and stuff. So that's the main goal is to just keep increasing your pickaxe and the mine level, which is what we're basically going to be doing. Okay, so I just opened up a mythic armor box and we did get a rare token helmet. We're definitely going to take that. But the main goal is to eventually get to the mythical and masterful levels or rarities of these armor pieces, because that is really where you're going to get the most token boost. And that's basically just what we're kind of trying to get. Also, when we get these RPGs and stuff, they could be pretty useful if you want but i usually use slash salvage and you can go ahead and salvage these for some salvage points and then you could go ahead and sell those for um you basically just sell them for salvage points and then you can buy, go to the shop and actually buy some crates and stuff like that so that is the main thing that we're going to be doing we have some of these crates i think we might have some slash crates i don't really know let's go and check yeah we do have someone here um it looks like there is a new grind key i honestly don't remember seeing that so that is something we're gonna have to check out too but yeah once you do get these grenades and stuff if you aren't going to use them i do really recommend to salvage them they are something that's good to salvage and let's go ahead and open up these slash crates for some extra tokens and crates and stuff like that and you're honestly just gonna get a lot of stuff here and we're probably gonna salvage most of this the main things we're gonna open is these legendary skin boxes these this abyssal relic cache all these cash caches and relics and vaults and stuff like that and that's basically it. I mean, Mythic Armor Box, we're definitely going to take that. But we usually sell with these common armor boxes because they only they only come with low rarities, which are not really good. So we're going to go ahead and sell with those. And I'll come back once I finish opening everything and show you what I got. Okay, so we got some legendary token leggings, which we're going to take. We do currently have these. So we can just combine them real quick and it will give us to level two. And I do keep these legendary grenades because these are actually pretty decent. Honestly, they can explode the whole mine probably like once. So let's go with that. Let's go to the mine. Let me demonstrate the grenades. So if I just like throw it down right here and it's probably just gonna break the whole mine and it's just gonna reset and it's honestly just a really fast way to get some quick rank ups and stuff like that quick quick blocks broken i am also gonna go for if we check our pickaxe and go to the pickaxe skins all these skins are pretty useful and i think they did buff it or boost the amount of skin fragments required i honestly thought last map i'm pretty sure it was around 10 and or 15 and now it's 20 so that's gonna be a little bit of an extra grind but they are honestly really really good the one we had last map was the shadow clone and that basically just spawns some player miners which is that guy over there around your mind to help mine your, your mind and stuff like that and it's honestly one of the best ones there's also many other things that we're going to be going for and we did just get pickaxe level 10 and oh my gosh we do have 461 trillion tokens which is kind of insane um 
We're going to go ahead and see what other enchants we have. We currently could get Treasure Hunter. Oh, Prestige Finder, we get a little bit later. I think I might have um, said that, but we get, that. we get Prestige Finder at level 50. And so let's see. So we get Jack Hammer. Gold Mine's not bad. With, we get token merchant at 30 which is something we're going to be really looking forward, forward to just for some extra tokens but i think we're going to go ahead treasure finder i honestly don't think it's really that good how much does 10 levels cost 56 tro i mean we could just max it out we do have 460 tro and we're about a, we're at about 400 tro right now so let's go ahead and put some into these gold mine it will cost 30 tro we can actually max that out too so honestly we're doing pretty good so far i think the only one we can actually buy is the jackhammer so let's go ahead and buy some of that 1k more levels we're at about 2k right now we're honestly have a really really good pickaxe we're just starting off and we haven't even been mining for too long so this is honestly a really really insane start i'm gonna keep grinding a little bit till i get to rank 40 just so i can show you when like your mind expands and stuff like that so i'm probably should have take too long boom yes and it didn't it doesn't expand too too much because it is a little bit of a grind but it did expand a pretty decent amount and it is one of these starter levels and we did a tier 2 pouch and basically with these pouches once you do get the blocks broken you're actually going to be claiming you're going to get the like once you claim you're going to get tokens and stuff and they're honestly really really good especially when you get to the higher tier ones you're going to be getting about 40 to 50 trillion per pouch like that was for like tier 18 and stuff so they're honestly really really good and i don't really know what the for the starter one but 1k blocks is literally nothing like that's probably one of the easiest things you guys to do for some tokens but i think i'm gonna wrap things up there if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out